everyone. Um, this is the YouTube guidelines and community. Wow, that was reverse. It's commu YouTube community guidelines, not community, whatever, whichever way you prefer. Um, so I think these are kind of vague. In my opinion, it's my fucking opinion, fucking deal with it. Um, it contains respect to YouTube community. Um, I believe that the YouTube community can be respected, but in ways it goes a little too far. Um, don't cross a line. Um, we're going to get into that one in a little bit. Review your reports carefully. Um, I know a lot of people that just fucking report people for fun, and I don't think it's really fucking funny. Um, join and have fun. Okay, I agree with that one. You should have fun. It's fucking YouTube. But this is, like, kind of weird when, like, uh, here, let me show you. Okay. This is all on YouTube. And I don't think it should be, so that's fucking. <sighs> I'm too lazy to put the rest, but it actually shows cats doing it. What the hell? I fucking love cats. Okay, that one's actually appropriate. This one is a cat having a threesome, but like, what the hell? You know, I know you might be thinking, oh, there, uh, fucking wig. Um,. They're cats, they're not actual people. It doesn't really matter, but if you type in, let's see, like any type of sex position, you're probably gonna see it on here. See, it's, this is dead. It's fucking stupid. And yet, people get in trouble for other things that are completely stupid, like, for instance, one YouTuber that I really like watching, um, well, it used to be able to watch, they're now banned. I forgot the name of it. It was, like, a really long time ago. She would, like, say really controversial things. <laughs> it's not like some other YouTuber that's on here right now that's really annoying. Um, she would say, and then she got banned because people proclaimed it as hate speech, which... If I bring up the YouTube guidelines is something, if I can find it, like, somewhere, um, it's probably on Don't Cross the Line, but here it says, oh, look at that, some fan service right there, um, Don't Cross the Line basically says, here are some common sense rules that help you share, steer clear of trouble. Please take these rules seriously and take them to heart. Uh, okay. Um, I don't think... What the fuck does my heart have to do with it? It's fucking black. Um, don't try to look for loopholes or try to lawyer your way around guidelines. Um, oh boy. Oh boy, there's probably a bunch of people already did that. Just understand them and try to respect the spirit of which you were created. In which they were created it. Okay, so doggy style and cats fucking. Um, yeah. Um, I don't know if those are supposed to be educational or anything, but that's like almost pure porn. Like, I can search, which I'm obviously not going to do, search on Pornhub or like X videos or whatever the fuck it is. Search of that and then like come with this porn. That's porn. This isn't red tube, it's YouTube. And then nudity and sexual content. Doggy style clearly is nudity. And then like if I bring up one one video, which I'm not going to show because I already viewed it and it was fucking gross. Oh my god, and this is coming from a pervert. It says YouTube is not for pornography. Well, um, pornography or sexual explicit content doggy style is sexually explicit content and is porn so loophole i guess or either youtube doesn't give a fuck because they were like born that way in the fucking hood <laughs> god damn wow i can't even make a serious video um don't post it on youtube also 
be, I can't read properly. Don't be advised that we work closely with the law enforcement and we will report child exploitation. Um, I'm not really going to go on that topic because it's kind of sensitive, but um, I agree. Child exploitation should probably not be on YouTube, but I guarantee you'll probably find it. Like, if you can find sex positions on there, you'll probably find a shit ton of other stuff I'm not going to show. Violent and graphic content. Okay, um, I remember watching this one video, it's like, I forgot what it's called, it was like this one guy, even though it was a prank, um, I still say it was really inappropriate to make a video off of, wow, I sound like a fucking child, I say it was very inappropriate to go off of because it showed him kidnapping his friend and then killing another guy in front of him, um, what the the fuck um graphic or violent content that was both graphic and violent so um yeah buddy it's fucked up and then hurtful content um i say it can be like if some people are so sensitive where they're just like oh she said stupid that's like so offensive i'm so triggered right now um, or, oh, they have this and this on their channel. I'm so, like, hurt from this. Like, for example, like, I know some anime, <clears throat> um, never mind, a lot of anime can be, like, very hurtful and stuff, but, like, I think little kids, like, there's a little thing, it's called, like, kids tube or whatever, it's, like, for children and shit. <laughs> um, but, like, I think cussing, they're just normal words. Look it up. They're probably in, like, the Greek and Latin dictionary. Like, fuck. That was always, like, a hurtful word. Shit was actually pretty much a polite word. Well, not necessarily polite. It was, like, basically a normal word. Like, you wouldn't say, please, shit. Like, instead of please, you wouldn't say shit instead of please. Which would make no sense. Like, okay. What it says is, our productions are... Pl our platforms for free exploitation um I don't think okay free exploitation I think freedom of speech is also among those lines but I don't know I don't really want to get onto that actually I kind of do but eh. we don't support content that promotes or condemns violence against individuals or graphic based race origin religion disability gender age nationality <sighs> etc. or sexual orientation. Okay, basically what this is saying, oh god, feminists are coming. Um, this is basically saying when they say race um, or ethical origin, that means racism. No, I know there's plenty of racism. Oh my god. I'm not gonna play that clip. Don't worry. I don't even have it. Um, gender, meaning sexism. I know this one YouTuber, she remarked as all white people are racist, which is stereotypical because she's saying everyone. She's calling out all the white people. Like, um, believe it or not, other races can be racist too, okay? So get off your fucking high horse. Um, and she said, all men are sexist. Um, my dad is not a sexist. I know many people that are not sexist, and they're men. Like, uh, my one friend, like, I hang out with him all the time. We're, like, practically brother and sister. Oh, God, that sounded weird. Um, like, we're besties. We, like, do, f like, some racy jokes. But, like, it's all fun and games. Like, if it's all fun and games, I'm pretty much, like, cool down for it. But if it's actually meant to hurt people and, like, target them, like, oh, fuck you, you fucking cunt or something. Or something. Um, I think that should probably not be on YouTube, and that's highly inappropriate. Um, or gender identity. Okay, basically, my thoughts on gender identity is just, it's like, it's basically labeling. Like, you know, middle school, like, I personally know from this. Like, how they have, like, popular kids fucking, um, where those, like, 
fucking comedy assholes. Um, you know, like the people that basically act like filthy crazy, they're always in the back of the classroom fucking with the teacher. Okay, that's like way off topic, but anyways, they're like always fucking with the teacher. There's a kid that sleeps in class, there's a kid that draws, there's a kid that doesn't necessarily give a fuck and is kind of waiting for like 3.15 or whatever time you get out of class. Um, I'm just using 3.15 because that's when I get out, um, as an example. And then... There is also who's primarily is including hatred on basis of these on core contradictions. Um, my video is not based on hatred. This is just my opinion. And then like other things, like some people, can, they can be trolls like um, Filthy Frank. No one really takes him seriously because, well, he makes an ass of himself. It's actually kind of funny. I enjoy his videos. Um, or some other YouTubers I like watching whenever I'm bored, like Leafy is here, Grade A, Under A, but he doesn't necessarily make fun of people. Like, or, like, just throwing out there, like, rant videos. Um, those aren't, to me, those aren't hate speech, but to other people, they're just like, oh, those are fucking racist, and like, oh my god, oh, gross. And then, okay, just to sum up this thing, basically attacking people for their own in individuality or whatever, which is probably going to happen to me one day. <laughs> I should know that already happens, but I don't care. Um, but in all honesty, this is basically like hateful content. Um, it really depends on how you're raised. Not really, but like, um, like it depends on your opinion on hateful. Like some people, they're just like, oh, Pokemon is like a satanic ritual oh my god, it's like hatred and shit, or they're like, um, for example, oh, creepy pasta. it's like for Satan and shit, which I, some of them are out there, um, or saying, oh, all religious groups are nut jobs and stuff, which, um, that depends on which religious group, which church it is, I don't care, I'm not really into religion, I'm not gonna touch on that, Spam, like, spam, being misleading, multi-data, and scams. Um, I agree with this rule. I agree scamming, etc. should not be on YouTube. Like, saying, you know, like those pop-up ads that say, oh, free iPhone, if you, like, do this and this, enter your free social identity, your phone number, your email address, those are all things, believe it or not. <laughs> Either you're a fucking retard, or... That's dumb. It's really dumb. And are you really going to put in your personal information just for a fucking iPhone? I mean, you don't even fucking know. They could be like, uh, I don't know, fucking hackers. I mean, like, oh, cool. You put your email address, you put your password, you put your phone number. Well, um, let's see, bank account. Oh, I see you have $50 in there, Snatch, or whatever. Like, oh, free piece of candy, Snatch. Like, steal your shit. Harmful and dangerous content. Now this one, I have mixed feelings on, like, they need, for me, they need to, like, expand a little bit more on it, but I'm not gonna, like, that's gonna be, like, hours upon hours if I get into full depth upon it. It says, don't post videos that encourage others to do things that might cause them to be badly hurt. Okay, basically, in my opinion, some prank channels, like, not all, like, some, like, oh my god, like, you have to be a fucking retard if you say, oh, well, um, it's basically, like, you know how parents say, like, whenever you do something, you're like, oh, well, all the kids are doing it, like, all the kids are, like, snorting, not cocaine, because no one fucking does cocaine, it's only for, like, crackheads, um, Oh, well, Jerry or so-and-so did the cinnamon challenge, Dad, so I decided to do the cinnamon challenge. Um, and, like, they'll reply with, Oh, well, if, uh, Jimmy decided to jump off the Golden Gate Bridge or the Eiffel Tower or wherever the fuck, um, would you do it too, Billy? Would you do it too? Or whatever the fuck your name is. Would you do it too? You would obviously reply, No, because that's retarded. Or, or 
if he lit himself on fire, would you do it? No. Like, some people, it takes common sense. Like, I believe if it encouraged you to do it, I believe that younger viewers did not see it. But, like, people that are a little bit mature, like 13, 14, I agree. There's probably, like, even really dumb 13-year-olds that boy, I know a few. Um, okay, now, copyright. This can be taken in many, many, ow, different ways. Ow, I hit my knee. I don't care. Um, can be taken in many, many different ways. Like, I remember, like, I don't even think, like, a few months back, maybe a few weeks or whatever. I don't remember the time. Um, there's a saying called hashtag WTF. And it's like, where's the fair use? And then I remember that. And I was like, oh boy, this is going to last for like a few months. It actually ended before I knew it. So I didn't really want to touch that one. Um, so what it says is, respect copyright. Only upload videos that you made or that you authorized to use. Okay, there's a problem with this one. Because there, there's a shit ton of reaction channels like fucking... I'm not going to name them because they're probably going to, like, call me out or whatever. I don't know. I'm a very small YouTube channel. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> um, it says, respect copyright. Only upload videos that you made or are authorized to use. Like, this is basically implying if you choose someone else's content, you can only put, like, I think the copyright law says you can only put less than three percent if you reach three percent it's like you have to ask them or if you use more than three percent like um for example reaction videos when they put the whole fucking thing either on the corner of the thing or like on their phone they don't ask permission they don't add any of their original content they're basically just staring at the screen with a blank face <laughs> um saying oh okay okay like they don't even, like, say much. They only say, like, three to five. Like, maybe, like, at, at the max, maybe, like, 15 words. Like, I think the most I've seen a reaction channel say something was probably, like, 30 words. And it was, like, world record here, buddy. You said 30 words in this video that wasn't even yours. Oh, my God. Um, so, basically, what it also says is this means you don't upload videos that don't make or use content in your videos that is someone else's own to copyright, such as music traps, um, snippets of copyright programs. This is basically this, like, um, like if I use, like, what's a copyright song? Like, the song Pity Party or whatever. Hey, I make cookies.